All right, what I did to repair. What I did, I took out the terrain. I found the terrain to be a little awkward as far as my test environment back and forth was going. You know, why it might add a little bit of girth to the world, and I didn't want that. So I eliminated that. Then I found this to be true. I could touch it and I go back, and that seemed to, to repair it. The train was one of the main problems. But if you look at this, it's still shaking all over the place. So, digging a little deeper um, on my other world, you will find that it's not about the camera being parented to the actual device. If I hit play, did you see how fluent that was? The camera dropped, but the camera and the ball are not the same object. So that leads me into even more mystery, which will be solved here. So a complete recompiling of the world. But here's what you do to get it working right now. All I need to do is take my camera and drag it off. And I hit play, and now what happens is I touch it, it goes back. Touch it, goes back. Touch it, goes back. Perfect. That is exactly the test environment that I wanted. I want a kill zone, and that is a perfect example of a kill zone. Very plain. Now that all the kinks are ironed out, I guess the better question is, how does the camera actually function back in the other world if it's not being parented? So now we have spawn points, kill points, and how they work. Now we're going to have to work on cameras and the exact nature of how a camera follows in a 2D world. All right, and that's going to be in the next video.